Basilan, Mindanao. For years, Muslim extremist groups terrorized the island. They left scars on its people and scars on what it means to be Muslim. These days are coming to an end. What I've learned in my travels is the biggest hearts are found in the most faraway places. This is Discovering Basilan, day two. Good mythical morning to everybody. That's not the right show. All right, we are at the governor's guest house. As you can see, we have many guest houses behind me and we stayed the night last night here and it's, it's beautiful. It's set on the mangroves. It's got amazing beds. I got like 11 hours sleep, which is a full battery for my Cory at least. How the trip is organized is it's all a bit on what the governor um, can put together for us. The thing is he's very busy and has been popping around this part of the world by helicopter for the past couple days and uh, hasn't been around. So I don't exactly know what's happening day to day, which I am totally fine with because the adventure in itself of just being here is a hell of an adventure. Lamitan, here we come, baby. Let's make some weavers. slowly figured out how things work here. These are the Yakan weavers and there are four weavers right now all creating 20 meter long pieces of cloth. To do that they do it line by line by line and the designs come to them in dreams by inspiration and yeah so that each piece is a unique work of art. Once it's 20 meters then they can sell it. If you look around they have they're wearing a lot of their work. A lot of their pants and headdresses are actually the weaving they've done, and it's like very intricate and very well, well made. Oh my god, put it on. Like this. <laughs> I like it. I like it already. You know that blue, blue is my favorite color. My son. I'm assuming this is a coconut, a coconut opener. I didn't know these existed, and I'm gonna get a lesson. I don't know. It's like the the leg, the leg movement. Yep. All right. We yeah. Got a coconut here you go. Okay. Nan 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 And then I go. They're laughing. It means I'm doing a good job, right? Change the No, 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 no. Oh. No, not like that at all. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> Just take time. Like this? Yeah, yeah, this one. Show me, show me how it's done. Give it to him. 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 <laughs> you know? Okay, that man? Okay. okay. So, you know, I'm a Where do I apply? Where do I apply? To him. We have stopped for lunch, and the second we got here, one of the boys came up and whispered, hey, let's go to the back. We've got a local type of chewing tobacco to try. I had Momo once. Have you seen the Momo video? Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Oh, they're all in the back. <laughs> they're all in the back chewing something. <laughs> I hope it's not Momo. I can't do Momo again. There we go, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can see I can see I can see the orange stains already. Oh my god, it's Momo. It's Momo, it's Momo. 
It's more my, isn't yeah, it? After we eat, we're gonna have some together. Because yeah, you know, you guys don't drink, right? Well, drink natural. Natural. natural, yeah. yeah. Alright, okay. Eat first, then, then, then beetle nuts. Okay, we have found ourselves at a Malaysian restaurant with these delicious noodles. If I remember one thing while being in Indonesia, you dump the hot sauce on and it's so good. Okay, that was, it's a little bit spicier than I thought it was gonna be. We have these interesting shrimp cakes. Oolong. Oolong, and this is curry jackfruit. It's so good, the curry jackfruit. Which I'm excited that about. Is. Because I love curry. I love jackfruit, and I'm sure they're gonna be epic together. I'm sweating, man. <laughs> you try. <laughs> we have apple. Apple. We, I've never seen it this stuff. And what's the liquid? What's this other liquid? Honey. 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 No way. Honey. Honey. And what? betel nut. Betel nut. Yeah. And yeah. tobacco leaves. Yeah. Go. The legend of Opa right yeah. here. The legend of Opa. <laughs> <laughs> so look. This is a little like Opa knife. Yeah. Knife. There's paraphernalia apparently. So you cut the betel nut in half. Oh, oh, I've never seen it prepared before. I've only ever seen it at the end. It looks almost like a fig. Oh. Yeah? Oh, you're like, right. Yeah, totally. Like a bit like a fig on the inside. But this comes from a palm tree actually, yeah? So it's called betel nut around the world. It's called Moma up north in Luzon and it's called uh, Opa. Opa. Opa here in Basilan. This is tobacco all braided up, which is the part, in my opinion, that really hits you hard. That's it, yeah. They're, they're giving you, like, compared to other people, this is a very small amount. I know, because this is a killer. And they put honey on it. They put honey on top. Oh yeah, is this it? Yeah. Isn't it crazy? The combination of honey, some hey, orange don't, stuff. Don't forget to thank Jong, man. And the leaf. <laughs> Salamat. Or Mexico. Mexico. And we take a bite. Are you ready? <laughs> Whole thing, yeah? Like sushi. Mmm. <laughs> it's really strong. Almost like basil taste. When you bite into the seed, there's a lot of juice. Right now, there's a lot of juice in my mouth. But actually, the honey makes it quite, quite pleasant. Your mouth become red. Are you red right now? Yeah. Because of uh, hot pot. Oh, not yet. Oh. Two more, two more. Oh. It's like chewing wood. I'm chewing, I'm chewing, I'm chewing. It does like, like cool, it tastes like a forest, but my mouth is generating so much spit, I almost can't talk right now. Oh, you're gonna spit on me, man. <laughs> your mouth starts to feel like it's drying up. Your tongue starts to feel a little bit numb. Kumar, how's he doing? <laughs> That's not good. How do you feel? I'm chewing, chewing, chewing on the nut. <laughs> I'm just laughing at you, man. <laughs> my right now, my face is starting to feel very hot. And you start to feel like a little bit spacey in the head, but you start to feel good. Like you're drinking a lot of coffee. And you can feel it like boom, 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 right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, energy, man, energy. The vitamin of the yakans, yeah? The vitamin of the yakans, right? The vitamin of the icon? Oh, no. yeah, the vitamin <laughs> I feel awake, I feel good. Yeah! yeah. Tell the world, Mike. <laughs> look, how, look how orange is getting. Mm. All right, I'm ready. Let's have a dance party. Let's go take some shots. You know Baduts? You know Baduts? Baduts? One shot, one shot. Baduts? One shot. Oh, man. All right. We're gonna go take some waterfall shots, which I'm pretty excited for right now. I'm not sure if it's because I like waterfalls or I like this. So we're gonna get rid of it. Let me give it to a chicken. No way, is he eating it? My head's going boom, <laughs> And you're never allowed to, to go on them, to go on them uh -huh. because they, they're so special there's only there's a like finding rocks is like this is special enough but finding a waterfall like this is extremely special Ooh, and the right. fact we're the only ones here and the fact that we can yeah. explore it you can to the max climb on it. Yeah. is like oh man it's a dream come true it's a waterfall adventurer's green dream come true are you ready are you ready oh my god okay we're gonna get closer we're gonna get closer 
so you can see it. Oh, I can't believe we get to be here and experience this waterfall. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Valtina. Cool up. Stepping stone. <laughs> What do you think, man? Oh, look at my expression. It's just so unique. Yeah. It's so unique. It's a really, it's a really special spot. Beautiful, yeah? Yeah, beautiful. You came here with your wife? Yeah. Did your wife like it? Yeah. Yeah? Good evening. Just like the previous night, we will sit down and talk about the day because today was an epic day. I would I would think if Kulas was sitting right here, he's sitting inside. We're <laughs> we're editing right now. He would probably agree. Kumar as well. Today was a, a highlight of the trip so far. It's only been two days, but honestly, we started off. We went to the weaving village. I got this super sweet headband by the village elder there, and I, I'm wearing it all day because I think it's like that they that, that gift. It might seem like a headband, but the amount of work that goes into this actually made both of us a little bit emotional. You can come on, yeah. I'm naked. You, gotta, you gotta join though. A what? You gotta join. I'm, I'm kind I'm, of like. You're sweaty. I'm in my underwear. And I'm <laughs> so right, I'm talking about the gift today. Oh yeah, okay, that was amazing. Yeah, and man. Actually, I think it's just a. I mean, I almost cried when he gave it to me. I think it's the kind of thing where you could actually just be reminded to always give to others, to always care about others, to always respect and appreciate when you meet other people, and to want to be open to learning about others as well. And they're excited enough to want to even give you something that was, you know, clearly it's, it's not even like a, it's not even a minor gift, man. His wife made it in their house, like mm -hmm. weaving, their traditional style of weaving. He was that excited that we were just there visiting. Mm -hmm. that when I asked him, I literally asked him in the language, I said, back it, like why? to Galog. And he's just like, it's remembrance. It's just like, I just want you to remember, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that in itself is a key message that we should all remember that here or in places of the world where bad things do happen and extremely bad things, like there have been some pretty extremely horrible things about Basilan, they're not representative of, and they shouldn't overshadow all of the good things and just all of the regular things. I didn't realize uh, that w you shake hands, people were touching their heart after. And I thought that was beautiful and I asked him like, oh, is it a Basilian thing? And no, it's a, it's a Muslim thing. And like you cool. said, growing up, we're both from Canada and there's Muslim people in Canada, but we're Absolutely. just, we, we're not exposed to the culture. We're not mm -hmm. thrown into it. Like they, I think they keep it a bit pri anyway, but you just don't, you don't and, get to see it, And right? here's the sad part. This is the truth too. Having traveled the Philippines for four and a half years, and lived here. Unfortunately, there's a still a large majority of, of people here, you know, who even talk down and negatively about Muslims. Mm -hmm. The word Muslim, unfortunately, I, I'm not one to call out anything here because it's around the world even as well, but a lot of people just use the word in such negative connotation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Filipinos even who I've met all over the country, they bring up the word Muslim with terrorism and death and, and I should never befriend them and things mm -hmm. like that. And I think that's really sad. 
And I think if you came to Basile and were open to interacting with people here, it's a good example of how we should never think that way mm -hmm. or, or use the term Muslim. Um, with negative connotation or generalizations attached to it. Mm, no, the world has misrepresented what, what they are about, and we're here, we're, we're deep into it, in a spot where mo most people wouldn't go because they feel it's dangerous, and all we've received is just love and appreciation. Yeah, and look at it's, the, it's amazing, it really is amazing. The head of the PNP, so we have armed escort, as you've seen, and the head of that armed escort and all of the armed escort guys are Muslims. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're protecting us from extreme ists. Yeah who I'm sure they don't even consider to be a good representation of their religion. Oh, I'm sure they don't. So yeah. I think that in itself, again, there are Muslims dedicating their lives to want to bring peace and order to this island who are protecting us as foreign nationals who aren't... I'm not Muslim. I don't know if you're Muslim. No, of course not. No, who aren't Muslim. You know, and that in itself is just an example of, you know... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Something that uh, puts a lot of thought in your mind. Yeah. It's very humbling for us and very powerful for us. So, Completely. day two has been just as epic, or if not more epic, than day one. We have day three and day four, and then I'm out, and then you're yeah. continuing. But thank you guys for watching this far in the series. Good Experience over possessions. We'll catch you on day three in the morning. Goodbye. In the next episode of Discovering Basila, Kulas Kumar and I head to Cordobado City where we attend a cultural festival, dance with the locals, get treated like royalty, and listen to some strange music. <laughs>